Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm hoping that this will be the last video that I ever have to do on Senate Bill 5078, the high magazine capacity ban, or what most of us call the standard magazine capacity ban. Today is June 1st, 2022. Why is that important? Well, it's because that law goes into effect in exactly one month. So today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about time is running out to get your magazines. Okay, so the issue we're talking about today for about the 145th time now is Senate Bill Engrossed Substitute Senate Bill 5078, the High Capacity Magazine Pan, passed by your Washington State Legislature on March 11th of this year, signed into law by your governor, and effective date July 1st, 2022. Well, today is June 1st, 2022, which means you have exactly 30 days until this law goes into effect. Now, what does that mean you should be doing between now and July 1st? Should you be converting all your firearms, getting rid of all your magazines, making sure you only have 10 mag round magazines? You can do that, but the law does not require that. No, in fact, what I would recommend you do is that you spend the next couple of weeks stocking up on any magazines that you may want to have. If you're always thinking about, yeah, well, I always wanted that Glock 19, but I haven't bought it yet, don't have the budget for it, you might want to find the budget for some of the magazines now, and you can always get that firearm later. Are you thinking about getting into the AR platform, but haven't really pulled the trigger on it yet? Well, you might want to pick up some 30 round P rep mags now. Why is that? Well, because effective July 1st of this year, what this statute actually does is it restricts the commercial sale of these magazines. It does not, I repeat, it does not restrict the possession of these magazines. It does not restrict us from carrying these magazines, either concealed or open carry. The law, when it goes into effect, is going to read as follows. No person in this state may manufacture, import, distribute, sell, or offer for sale any large capacity magazine except as authorized in this section. And then, of course, the only authorizations in the sections are for law enforcement, uh, military, and FFLs. So, what does the law say? Well, let's take a look at it one more time, because what the law says is that no person in this state may manufacture import, distribute, sell, or offer for sale any large capacity magazine. And then remember that large capacity magazine is now given a definition in RCW 9.41.010 as any magazine which holds more than 10 rounds. So, as you can see, the law does not prohibit the possession, ownership, carrying, of high capacity magazines. Now what it does do though is it restricts the importation and importation we could get into the statutory definition of it it is right there in the bill itself but it's really simple if you bring something from outside the state of Washington into the state of Washington that is importing okay that means that effective July 1st if you go to any online mag warehouse cheaper than dirt grab a gun any other place that you could go and buy magazines on the internet and have them sent to you, you're not going to be able to buy any magazine which exceeds more than 10 rounds. The commercial sale of these magazines comes to an end in exactly one month. That also means that your local FFLs that are still sitting on inventory right now, that they're either going to have to find a way to ship it out of state to somebody else who can sell it, or they're going to end up eating it. So if you are interested in helping them out, if you're interested in stocking up on magazines, now's the time to do it. It is June 1st. You have exactly 30 days until this law goes into effect. But remember, every magazine that you own prior to its enactment date is yours to keep for now. Now, I'm sure next legislative session, I'll get to do a whole bunch of new videos on another bill where they're going to probably try to tighten this thing up. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. In the meantime, if you have any other questions about this magazine ban or anything else related to your Second Amendment rights, you can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com or, of course, you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now, let's remember, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. 
Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay safe. Hey everyone, Bill here with Washington Gun Law. Hey, a huge thank you to all you lawful and responsible gun owners out there. We just crossed 43,000 subscribers. Hey, we're going to go live once again Monday, June 6th at 7 p.m. That's Monday, June 6th. That's right, D-Day, 7 p.m. right here on YouTube. We will have lots to discuss, uh, including some stuff about potentially a federal gun registry. Let's talk more about that. So bring your thoughts, bring your ideas, bring your questions. Most importantly, bring yourself Monday, June 6th, right here on YouTube Live. In the meantime, all of you, stay safe.